Hi guys, welcome back after a very long break and in a little bit of a different format. So recently we've been busy with stuff, the stuff very similar to what you can see in the video. So our lives changed a little bit and we didn't have a lot of time to make content, but I would like to change it right now. And uh, there comes a little bit of backstory with it. So it was like a little bit over three months ago when our kid was less than one month old and uh, we we're getting used to the new obligations new time schedule and stuff and it did not go very well at the beginning like i tried to keep the old routines but uh, because of that we weren't like i at least wasn't i mean like my wife had it even worse so I wasn't sleeping very regularly, I wasn't eating very regularly, and apparently when you don't do this, those things well, you don't climb very well. And uh, another thing was like, I always climb with my wife. We usually go to the gym when it's like relatively empty and we climb together. So going climbing alone was not super easy, like not very motivating. So I did two things. One thing was to decide to start filming my sessions uh, with uh, a hope that eventually I will be able to do some kind of voiceover where, and see if something good will come out of it. And another thing was that in the gym where I was climbing at, uh, I started to do very bad because, you know, like my climbing level was going down, which I usually don't mind. I don't mind climbing grades that are way below something that I climbed as long as the climbs are fun. The problem is I don't like falling from the climbs that I used to do easily. So what I did, I basically changed the gym. I, I went to a different gym. Uh, it was only my second time in it. It was a relatively new gym and it was amazing. Like the that new gym, it's West, it's called West Bouldering and it's in Warsaw. It's super, op super open, there's like a lot of sun, the uh, panels are really nicely exposed and you just have a lot of fun climbing. So after this one session, I decided to go there again, maybe a little bit <laughs> too soon without a proper rest. And this is basically how my session looked like. So I started with a few warm-up climbs. They have a grading like from one to nine, I think and uh, after doing a little bit of uh, moves without boulders and stretching and stuff i jumped onto the force i like i'm very sorry about the color grading and the lighting i'm still trying to figure out how to do those things better so this is i think the first first four fourth gra boulder that's graded for that i did and this is the second one all the climbs were super cool. I mean, like for now, it's there's not much that I can. I don't think like there's anything interesting I can tell about those climbs. They are just well set, fun, and other stuff. My plan was to do like three fours, then three fives, then three sixes, and then uh, yeah, because I haven't mentioned it yet. Like uh, I I came back to this gym to do four boulders. I had plan to try hard on four boulders that I really wanted to do. But we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so the problem, like, now I was looking for the third four and I did not find it. So I jumped straight to fives. And the funny thing is, I think like after this five, I couldn't find another two fives. So I jumped straight back to sixes. It's like a dino. It, this dino, I remember doing for the first time, it felt like very big, but it's super smooth, very, very well set, very fun boulder. It's like when you're there, you, you you just have to put in your mind that you need to go and that's all. Okay, so this is the first six. I sh usually should be able to flash sixes. I did not flash this one. I fell, I wasn't happy about it. Um, so I tried the second time. I think I also failed here. So the uh, what I was doing wrong, I technically have this thingy set up where I can, yeah, I can draw on the stuff. So I, before that, I was trying to land on this foothold that is here, 
But actually the trick to it was to land on the volume because then you were, were in like much better position to hold it. And uh, yeah, the, I, I, I do that a lot in this uh, video and I think in the future videos too. I don't watch the boulder before I go. So I was trying to figure everything out as I go. I think like there is a hole that I don't see. I will probably see it in a moment, yeah. There is like, I think I never used it now that I look it after some time. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, now that I look at it after some time, I see a volume here. And this was probably the volume that was supposed to be used for the intended beta. But uh, I knew like the previous thing that I tried should work. Uh, so I just did the same thing better because, you know, I'm tall and I can reach stuff. <laughs> I'm relatively tall. I mean, like, there are taller climbers than me. Uh, another six, I think. Kind of a fun climb. Um, a little bit overhang. Every I think, like, everything went pretty smoothly here. It wasn't, like, super complicated required a, lot, a little bit of power and stuff yeah just let's just watch it and the third C oh okay the slab one so uh, it started with like very bad holds and then you have to kind of sit on the volume on like very slopey holds that are somewhere here but uh, yeah, you will see how it will go. It, it was actually going very well. Like I felt super confident and sometimes overconfidence is uh, a problem <laughs> because I slept, sli <laughs> slipped and fell. Yeah, so I did not, uh, okay, so this is, oh, oh my God, this is the foothold that you should use, not this one. Um, Anyway, I jumped straight back. I was a little bit more cautious because I didn't want to slip again. I did not uh, touch the volume while falling, so it was fine. But, you know, it always stays in your head that you can slip again. But if I remember correctly, I think like this time I succeeded. Yeah, I was just a little bit more cautious and everything was fine. And then we are getting to the first boulder that I wanted to do. So this is, was uh, the seven. I tried it on the session before, but the, on the session before I was like super tired and I wasn't doing very well. So I just checked the moves of this and was never like in the top part. But uh, now I was a little bit more rested, not like super well rested, but well enough. Uh, so I know, knew that this time I have power to do it all. And maybe I did, maybe I didn't, we'll see. A fun boulder nevertheless. Even if I won't do it. The suspense. Oh, so the uh, next to the last one hold was not very great. It wasn't bad, but uh, the first thing it was like very, very far in the boulder. And second uh, thing, I think it was the worst hold on the whole boulder. Anyway, I did it. It was very fun climb. So one out of four boulders that I was supposed to do, done. Oh, and this is the main course. So I tried the first move on this boulder previously and I sticked it. So I was almost sure that this time it won't take me that long to stick the first move. And I did not check the second part. This is the second try. I think I will stick it like third or fourth or something like that. So let's just watch. Yeah. Okay. And this is the first time I'm trying the second part. I because like as I said, I tried the first move on the session before, but never tried the second part. And here I was super scared that I will slip on this foothold here because it was very slippery. And I actually <laughs> slept on the <laughs> uh slipped on the foothold below. And then it was a disaster. Like I <laughs> tried this boulder so many times I I kept on trying I couldn't do the first jump I maybe eventually did the first jump then I got to the second part at I lost a lot of energy on that I was like uh, on the video it's like one try after another but I was doing like proper breaks in between and uh, but I just couldn't like the the third try was I was almost sure that I will get it like everything felt good everything felt okay 
and then I just couldn't do moves again. Uh, I think after a while, the problem was with this crimp here that my right hand just couldn't hold at some point. But uh, mm, yeah, I, I, I'm even starting to doubt that I did it. Like, what was my beta? I did. I don't remember. Like, I I don't know why it went so well in the beginning, and then I had so much trouble there. Anyway, I think I gave it gave it like a like at this point I knew that there is no chance that it will work, and I gave it a few more tries and just gave up. Yeah, I, I think like my right hand is failing. Like I just cannot crimp with it anymore because my fingers are not working anymore. Ah! <laughs> yeah. At this point, I should just let go because you know, if I if I lost so much energy to just stay on the wall, it's there is no chance that the second part will go. But you know, we have to at least try to try hard. Let's go, maybe. I definitely put too many tries in this video. Uh, I like put together the video that I'm commenting on right now. Uh, so it was some time ago and now I see that I should have like left less of those attempts there. Uh, I think we... No, we are, <laughs> we are still on this boulder. Uh, but I will tell you maybe about the next boulder. The next boulder is... Uh, I saw it, I liked it. But it starts with a dino, and on the previous session I was just not feeling like jumping. Like I was tired and I felt like it's not a very safe thing to do. Uh, but it did not look like a hard... I don't remember if it was 6 or 7. It doesn't really matter. I think I stick it like the second go. But I obviously did not... <laughs> check what's the rest of the boulder and what am I supposed to do. Also there is this like one... Um, hold here that I somehow refused to use for the whole video uh, for the whole session like I don't remember if I thought that it's useless or like uh, I thought it will be cooler without this hold <laughs> but like this changes the whole traverse from left to the right completely like it's uh, it makes it so much easier. Uh, but I found, eventually found a very fun beta. Uh, I used this volume here. I'm not sure if I will use it like right now or like in a minute. Yeah, it's, I've, apparently I figured it out pretty fast. I'm so smart. <laughs> Past me was so smart. Um, I checked if it can work. Eventually I feel like I will get it to work. Maybe not yet. Yeah, but I'm liking it. Like it's a it. It was a very fun beta, beta. I think it's a beta. Uh, so I decided to stick with it. Like I, I don't always do boulders the easiest way. I think like for me it's more interesting to do them fun way. It's like for me climbing is supposed to be fun, especially now like that. I know that I won't really get strong. Ah, another slip. Yeah, I was a little bit afraid because, like, well, who likes falling? Uh, and my leg slipped for the second time this day, so I decided to check out the top before uh, checking the whole boulder. And it seemed okay. And then, I think, like, straight away I jumped onto it and did the whole boulder and this I actually remember it's uh, I did like I did everything wrong in this uh, in this attempt like my hips were far off the wall I barely held the edge of the wall the jump was super sketchy I barely uh, managed to get to the next hold, but uh, thankfully it it actually went. Spoiler alert! Sorry. Yeah. When I was doing it previously, my hips stayed close to the wall, and because of that, the move was like super easy. And the same with the top. I barely, I barely caught it. I I remember it because it was like. 
every move I did on this boulder was wrong. And this is the last boulder. I couldn't even start it because for some reason there were like two uh, tapes on that right volume, but it was like weirdly hard. Uh, the jump was big. I was super tired after the second boulder. It was just not for me this day, which is a shame because it was a very cool boulder. And I, I actually should have started with this one. I probably wouldn't do it anyway, but at least I would have a little bit of fun on it. I think I checked the uh, top part, but it, it was like way too much, especially like at this point I was climbing for like two and a half hour or something and I did so many attempts on the uh, on the second boulder there. Yeah, it's sad, sad face. Uh, oh, and uh, this was also the session that I tried the kilter board for the first time. I did like three, probably most popular seven A's. They felt okay. And I definitely want to get better on the kilter board, but there was no time for it. I mean, like I haven't like for the last three months we are climbing on our home climbing wall in our cabin. so. I didn't really get a chance to check Kilter in any of the climbing gyms in Warsaw. Anyway, uh, that's basically it for today. Thanks for watching. And I have a lot of videos that I have to put together. So hopefully see you next time.